His left hook smashes faces, but his trash talk really rattles the cage. Can this Irish lad really back up the bad mouthing? If you ask these stars, Conor McGregor can go f himself. I'm going to truly, truly love putting a bad, bad beating on this little glass jaw rat. The now retired Habib Nurmagomedov was once an animal who mauled his opponents. Some say he's the greatest MMA fighter of all time. But outside the arena, his abiding Muslim faith governed his teetotaling lifestyle and famous pearls of wisdom. Still, the one person who has been able to get under his skin is none other than the notorious Conor McGregor. This feud started as a typical competitive rivalry. Later, Nurmagomedov summed up the insanity, telling MMA life, When athletes, they have the same goal. They don't like each other. You want to be champion. I want to be champion. Even so, Leading up to their bout, McGregor took the promotional antics too far. He was genuinely heated about Nurmagomedov and his team surrounding his good friend and training partner, Artem Lobov, during an MMA event. McGregor and crew then showed up at the Barclay Center in Brooklyn for some payback. There, McGregor threw a steel hand truck through the window of a bus carrying numerous fighters, including Nurmagomedov. Two athletes were injured and unable to compete. Nurmagomedov got his payback during their official fight, the Eagle choked out McGregor in round four and retained his world title and undefeated record. McGregor loves to tell his rivals he's going to slap them, and for his most important enemies, he's willing to close his fist. But for those he deigns far beneath him, the notorious one comes at his critics' palms first. But these duels mostly live on Twitter. Back in 2016, McGregor was often asked if he'd ever consider pro wrestling. His charisma and obvious gift for gab would make him a natural fit, Fighters like Ronda Rousey have successfully made the transition. At the time, McGregor was the UFC lightweight world champion, weighing in for the title fight at 155 pounds. But he didn't seem interested in a WWE career, tweeting, I didn't mean no disrespect to the WWE fans. What I meant to say was that I'd slap the head off your entire roster, and twice on Sunday. Then they're in my bubble, and that's not good. WWE star Roman Reigns didn't take kindly to this dismissal of his sport, tweeting back, You're the size of my leg. Shut up. Most sites list Reigns as around 6 feet 3 inches and at least 100 pounds more than McGregor's 2016 competition weight. If these stats are even close to accurate, a real fight between them would likely not be officially sanctioned. It's possible Floyd Mayweather low-key likes McGregor, the best boxer of his generation even nabbed a staggering $275 million payday for his 2017 clash with the Irish bad boy. And overall, it was pretty easy work. Mayweather admitted he hadn't trained enough and on the night of the fight, bided his time until the bigger and less experienced McGregor was exhausted. Mayweather knocked McGregor out in round 10. But the globe-trotting promotional tour leading up to the bout didn't go as well for Mayweather as the fight. Irish flag-waving fans in New York were wildly pro-McGregor, while Mayweather's antics were largely greeted with boos. Our work! Our work! Our work! McGregor relentlessly mocked Mayweather's age as well, considering he was 40 years old heading into the bout. McGregor even got an entire arena in London to scream, F Floyd Mayweather. He lampooned Mayweather's fashion and even claimed the fighter was illiterate a tough pill to swallow from a trash talker who had exactly zero pro boxing experience. McGregor and 50 Cent threw out two of the worst first pitches you will ever see. In 2014, 50 tossed the pitch at a Mets game. Just a bit outside. And in 2021, the Cubs invited McGregor to do the same. His toss bounced off the wall behind the batter's box, but McGregor remained confident, taunting 50 on Instagram with side-by-side -side shots of them both, writing, the most powerful and fastest first pitch of any of these other athletes slash artists. Small bucks 50 cent. One has power. One is the director of media relations for some show called Power. You know what it is. The roasting got ugly when 50 responded with a since deleted and racially charged rant. Conor McGregor, he's talented for a white boy, but you know, I have superior genes when it comes to that kind of in order for white people to make a champion, they had to make Rocky, man. Hey, what you think about when the McGregor responded on International Women's Day with a shirtless photo of 50 captioned, Superior jeans, my big mate. I am made of granite. You need a bra. You jabbed up, fool. Sometimes McGregor starts a feud and ends up looking like a bully in the process. 
But in the case of his beef with Golden State Warriors all-star power forward Draymond Green, the much bigger man ended up looking kind of small. It all started in 2017, when Green spied McGregor wearing a Golden State Warriors jersey emblazoned with what the baller assumed was his own number 23. This happened in the lead-up to McGregor's boxing match with Mayweather, with Green posting to Instagram, "'We rocking with Floyd, bro, not you. Take that off, bruh.'" McGregor quickly explained he was actually wearing the jersey of former Warriors C.J. Watson, replying, "'I don't know who the f you are. No disrespect, though, kid. Keep hustling and stay in school. Now ask yourself why I'm rocking CJ when I don't give a fuck about basketball. I dribble heads off the floor, not a ball. This is no game here, kid. McGregor may actually have been wearing the jersey to troll Mayweather, because Watson allegedly had a relationship with Josie Harris, the mother of Mayweather's children. Green then responded with a list of his NBA accomplishments, but that only made things worse. As ESPN noted of McGregor, He basically reduced Draymond Green to saying, Google me. The beef between McGregor and rapper Machine Gun Kelly doesn't make a lot of sense. And exactly what happened really depends on who you ask. The fighter and MGK got into a small fight as the two stars walked the red carpet for the 2021 MTV VMAs. There's plenty of video of McGregor lunging at Kelly, who was held back by security and his girlfriend, Megan Fox. Another clip showed McGregor throwing a drink in Kelly's direction. Later, McGregor tried to brush it all off, telling Entertainment Tonight, I certainly don't fight little vanilla he's white rappers. You know, I don't even know the guy. I don't know anything about him, except that he's with Megan Fox. McGregor insiders allegedly told TMZ the issue started when the fighter approached Kelly for a photo, which the rapper supposedly declined. McGregor was then pushed away by Kelly's security. But a spokesperson for McGregor said the photo story was bogus. Regardless, McGregor soon insisted to Entertainment Tonight that the beef was squashed, claiming, It's all good, man. Come to the next fight. Come watch me perform anytime. Jake Paul turned out to be no joke as a fighter, with a viral one-punch knockout over former NBA star Nate Robinson. He got even crazier finishes against MMA vet Ben Askren and former UFC champ Tyron Woodley. Paul's trash-talking makes him a natural foil for McGregor. The YouTuber has been a vocal critic of the UFC pay structure and of UFC president Dana White as he tries to tempt MMA fighters to face him for bigger checks in the ring. In 2022, he even released a diss track calling out McGregor's losing streak and his alleged veneers. Later in 2022, Paul was trying to hype a possible fight between himself and McGregor. The Irishman responded via Twitter, calling Paul, quote, a flop, a nobody. Paul quickly clapped back in a video, stating, Connor, 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 you're more active on Twitter than you are in the octagon. Paul also accused McGregor of steroid use, cheating on his wife, and being a washed up alcoholic. Then he called out McGregor, alleging he shared sex workers with Dana White, and edited in a clip of a mystery woman taking a selfie video as McGregor appeared to be asleep in a hotel bed. Nate Diaz and his legendary older brother Nick Diaz are fan favorites for their blood and glory fighting style, as well as their interviews outside the ring. Nate never filters his comments, which makes him a natural foil for McGregor. In fact, these two have so much in common, Nate called out McGregor for stealing his brand, shouting into the mic in 2015, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I worked for, mother I'm gonna fight your a fight between the two seemed inevitable, and finally happened when Nate stepped in as a last-minute replacement in 2016. In an absolute stunner, the less heralded and less prepared Nate Diaz took McGregor's best shots, tired him out, and then choked him to a tap-out in round two. The rematch was set for later that year at UFC 202. This time, McGregor gritted out a narrow victory on the scorecards, despite some harrowing moments. But after winning this second fight, McGregor didn't agree to break the tie with the third match. Nate tweeted of the implied disrespect. What's the holdup? I'm not fighting Connor, he sucks. If McGregor has a mirror image in the UFC, it's Jorge Masvidal. The veteran welterweight and vicious puncher also has a knack for trash talking his way into big money bouts. A fight between the two would be massive. But so far, McGregor hasn't taken the bait. So Masvidal has questioned the Irish fighter's focus and sobriety, and he seems to mean it. Masvidal said to Block Asset, before this guy overdoses on cocaine and then the fight never happens and I don't get to make all that easy money, I just want to break Conor's face. Allegedly, Conor McGregor does coke. You know, allegedly. I don't know if he does coke. It seems like a kind of guy might do a little coke. While the rumors are unfounded, UFC commentator and famed podcaster Joe Rogan has also speculated about McGregor's drug use. 
When Masvidal didn't get a response, he further claimed McGregor was ducking him, telling MMA Fighting, Connor doesn't want the fight. If he did, he'd post something. He'd say something. He'd probably just insult my mom or some relative of mine or my nation where I come from. I think the only thing that makes him want to get out of bed is cocaine. That's okay. Every man has free will. You do whatever you want. McGregor couldn't help himself and then proved Masvidal exactly right with this predictable clapback. Insult your mom? What a loser you are, mate. Me and your mom get along.